strike zone, uh, pitched at the bottom of the strike zone, had a good mix, and uh, we just could not put together, um, you know, any sort of um, uh, inning offensively where we could score some runs. We had some opportunities, um, had a couple guys on base early in the ball game, um, and just couldn't come up with a hit uh, with runners in scoring position. Um, and uh, you know, the, I thought the key to their uh, to their team today, uh, besides him and their bullpen with King, uh, was their two out hits. I mean, they just extended innings and extended innings and extended innings. They had uh, they scored four, I believe, in the sixth on a you know on a tough ground ball uh, through the right side and then a flare to left. And you know they just did a really good job of extending innings, two strike hitting, just putting together good at bats. Um, and I thought that was the biggest difference um, in the ball game. Uh, we had our opportunities to get out of some innings uh, with minimal damage, but you have to give their guys credit. Uh, they did an excellent job of extending innings and coming up with big hits uh, with runners on base for two outs. Coach, you were in the exact same situation last year um, after the first two games. What, what can you draw on that experience? Well, we got to win three ball games. I mean, that's the experience that you draw on. Your season's on the line tomorrow at 1 o'clock. So that's the experience that you draw on is guys have to understand when they come to the ballpark tomorrow that we're fighting for our lives. We're trying to extend our season and that our season is on the line in game one. And game one's all that matters uh, because, uh, you know, we got to try to do everything we can to play two ball games tomorrow. So. Uh, that's the bottom line. Our season's on the line tomorrow, one o'clock. Need to put together a good game. We need to compete for nine innings and find a way to win game one and force a game two. Monty, do you know yet what you're going to do with your pitching? I have. I mean, obviously, I haven't had a chance to think about that right now. Um, as soon as I get back into the locker room, we'll talk to the coaching staff and we'll name a starter. Charlie, is it a little hard to keep your rhythm when somebody stepping out of the batter's box as much as they want and, and taking as much time in between pitches? Um, no, I don't think it is. Um, they did a good job of, you know, like Coach says, battling two strikes, battling two outs. And so I wouldn't, wouldn't have gone there too much with them stepping out of those pitches. I think they're going to be ready for the next two weeks. Any other questions? Coach Kyle Williams hit two balls hard right at the first baseman. I think there were men on base in both of those situations. Yeah, it was tough. You know, we had uh, Bird uh, hit the triple there and uh, was sitting at third base with one out. Wilkie did a really good job of getting himself in a good count to hit, a 3-1 count, and he lined out uh, to the first baseman. First baseman had to leave his feet and catch the ball. Uh, that was tough. You know, that would have that put us on the board right there. Uh, but, uh, you know, you got to give them credit. They're a great defensive ball club. Chris Williams, you know, smoked the ball late in the game there, pinch hit it back, drilled the ball. Uh, and, uh, you know, Coleman uh, is a very, very good athlete, uh, made an outstanding play um, that would have scored us a run there too. So we had some tough luck. Uh, but at the end of the day, it was about Vanderbilt starting pitching in their bullpen and their ability to extend innings with two outs and come up with, with big two out hits and two strike hits. So that was the story of the ball game and that's why they won the game. Rudy came up with that clutch here. Was that the best pitcher that you've seen all season? Uh, yeah, he's out there. Um, sorry. Yeah, he's out there. Uh, you know, he's got a good mix of all his pitches. He throws them all for strikes and different counts. Um, and, you know, he's you know he's the ace of a, a staff for a reason. He's got a, he's got a lot of good stuff, but we got to find a better game plan to compete. Um, just trying to uh, you know trying to train together some good at bats uh, tomorrow because our season's on the line. But I think we'll, uh, we'll bounce back. And, you know, that's the only option. We got to be ready to go tomorrow. Uh, Rudy, this is for Rudy and Charlie. Uh, what do you guys go over there and tell the rest of your teammates in the clubhouse about? Obviously, you played in this game last year. You know the experience of how important it is to to, to, to kind of get, be ready to go in the morning or or it's over. I mean, tonight sucks, but you can't dwell on it. Um, you know, tomorrow we're fighting for our lives. Tomorrow, you know, we're not promised anything except for one game tomorrow. We're promised nine innings for the rest of the season, and so I think you got to come out and uh, you know try to put together uh, as good of, as good of nine innings as you can. Um, you can't look forward, you can't look behind. You gotta stay in the present moment and uh, you know, compete every pitch and stay in that moment and appreciate the opportunity we have. Um, and that, you know, that's the way we gotta, that's the way we gotta go about it. Coach, you mentioned um, Chris Williams had that, that pinch hit line drive to the wall. You think there's a good chance he'll DH tomorrow? 
Well, I haven't had a chance to think about my lineup for tomorrow until I know who the starting pitcher is, uh, who we're facing. Uh, and obviously I'll you know, give it some thought through tonight uh, and in the morning as far as you know, kind of what we want to do lineup-wise for tomorrow. For, for both Coach and, and Rudy, with the potential for a couple of games in short amount of time you have to do that here in less than 12 hours, how does it change how you prepare for a game from, from meals to sleep to when you get – how does all that change for you? Well, we just, you know, we got to get our guys in bed and get them rested and get them ready to go. Um, you know, it's a short turnaround, but I think our guys understand the sense of urgency. Uh, I think they understand uh, that, you know, whether we get uh, a little bit of sleep or a lot of sleep or we get, you know, a couple of meals in us or not, at the end of the day, we got to go play. Uh, so we're definitely not going to use it as an excuse. I think, I think adrenaline and competitiveness will take care of that. Uh, so uh, I think we'll be fine. I don't, I don't think our ball club with the short turnaround and the fact that we're fighting for our lives uh, to play two ball games is, is going to affect us in any sort of negative way. We just got to go play. He said it. He said it all. Anybody else?